Good afternoon, and welcome back to the workbench. So, in a previous video, I talked about the uh, Energizer Industrial batteries that I bought in bulk and saved a bit of money. And um, here's a bunch of ones that I just replaced with those new Energizer Industrial, and here's one of the Energizer Industrial here. Um, and what I'm going to do now is do a little test with all of these to see just what sort of condition they're in. Um, and obviously you can test the voltage directly. I've got this on 20 volt range. You can have a look at these things and uh, test the terminals. Straight there, we've got 8.1 volt there, 8.8, 8.6, and 9.4, that one's not bad, 8, 9.6, or 8.6, that one's not too bad, and 8.8. .8. So they all seem to be roughly 9 volts, but the question is, are they actually going to work? And to answer that you really need to do an actual load test of them, because just measuring the voltage open circuit is pretty much meaningless. Um, I'll take this brand new one here, take the cap off, and I'll show you the uh, voltage of that one. That's uh, 9.6. So a brand new one is 9.6 volts, and if we take this resistor here, I've got this resistor, 5 watt, 120 ohms, um, I would say for testing a 9 volt battery you could use anything between 100 and 180 ohms, it'll give you about 50 to 100 milliamps or so um, load current, and this will, be, this will give it about uh, 75 milliamps load with a fresh one. Um, but you definitely need more than just the uh, very low current that the voltmeter will take um, before you see if anything's actually any good. So if we take this brand new one, for example, it starts off at 9.6 volts. If I put the uh, resistor across it, it drops down to 9.3, so it drops by about 0.3 volts. Um, and it recovers fairly well. So that's uh, pretty good. But if we try these other ones, you'll see that that is not always the case. So this one, for example, starts off at 8.1 volts. Put this load on it, it drops down to 7.3, which is not particularly good. It's dropped about 0.8 volts. Try this other one, 8.8. .8, and it drops down, oh, only to 8.3. So this one's actually probably still quite good. Um, not perfect, obviously, uh, but still not too bad. This one's uh, 8.6 open circuit. With a load, it's uh, only 8, so it's only dropping 0.6 volts. So these two are probably still fairly usable for just basic projects and mucking around. Um, over here, this one's 9.4, that's pretty good. But you see it uh, drops all the way to 8.2 when you actually put a load on it. So even though the uh, open circuit voltage of this is um, almost the same as the uh, brand new one, the um, the voltage actually drops by a, a whole volt, whereas with this one it only drops by 0.3 volts. So you can see that uh, even though the open circuit voltage on this one is almost as good as a brand new one, it's not in the best condition. Okay, this one's 8 volts. Oh, that's pretty bad drops down to 6.9, so that one's uh, pretty much past it, and um, right, this one, 8.6, not terrible, but it drops all the way down to 4 when you put this load, and uh, this one here, 8.8, .8, you think, hey, that's nearly 9 volts, that's not bad, and um, put a load on it, and it drops down to 4 as well, so it's actually pretty terrible. So you can see um, by actually doing a load test with a uh, moderate load, I mean these things should be rated at uh, anywhere between 200 to 600 milliamp hour, so a 50 to 100 milliamp load is not too much for them. Um, these should all hold up the voltage pretty well, but as you can see that uh, some of them are not too bad. These two here are not too bad. Um, these ones are sort of mediocre, but these two are actually really terrible. They drop down to 4 volts, so 
these two are practically useless for anything and uh, should be thrown away. I might keep these two just for mucking around with projects and maybe the, the one of these ones I don't know but in any case um, yeah that's how you test batteries uh, to get an actual decent reading I mean if you just uh, take the open circuit voltage you um, aren't going to know much so for example like I showed this one here is uh, 8.9 volts open circuit and this one is uh, 8.8 .8, practically the same voltage and yet with the uh, with the load on it this one only drops to 8.3 and this one drops to 4 big difference practically the same open circuit voltage on both of these but under load this one falls down completely and this one's still pretty good so there you go um, this resistor here I'm using 5 watt 120 ohms um, worst case scenario with a fresh 9 volt battery and a 100 ohm resistor you'd theoretically dissipate about a watt in it so I wouldn't go anything lower than a watt resistor to for testing these um, if you've only got quarter watt resistors then I don't know get like 400, 500 ohm resistors and put four of them in parallel or something um, but this uh, 5 watt one is pretty good because it's easy to hold nice uh, nice size, these are good for testing things um, so yeah, obviously if you're doing a different voltage of battery or a different current capacity of battery um, you'll need to adjust the load depending on that I mean, um, a really high capacity say 12 volt battery out of a UPS for example or even a car battery or something and um, testing it with with this resistor would be practically useless um, because the load would be so low that it wouldn't actually tell you anything useful um, but because these these batteries are rather low capacity anyway then uh, this one is pretty good with a C cell for example um, the same resistor will only give it about um, one milliamp load which is completely useless because the capacity of this should be you know somewhere over 2000 milliamp hour um, at least so you know you want to test that with a uh, much lower resistance um, to give it a decent uh, decent load test obviously if you've got an electronic load testing device you can use that um, but a simple resistor check is uh, pretty good um, shows the health of the battery quite well so this one for example is probably still pretty good and uh, this really bad one over here has probably got uh, I mean you can see actually by the case it's got flecks of rust on it and stuff um, it's pretty old it's not a particularly good brand to begin with um, so the internal resistance to this is probably pretty high um, not to mention the uh, chemistry is probably quite worn out and uh, even though under no load it can give 8.8 .8 volts um, under load it just collapses completely so there you go um, quick test of batteries to see if they're actually any good obviously keep in mind the uh, power dissipation in whatever resistor or load you're using and make sure that the uh, thing is not going to burn up with uh, too much current um, for example if you're testing some sort of high capacity battery um, you'll definitely need to dissipate a lot of power with that so there we go. Hope uh, that was useful and I'll see you next time.